Well, hey everybody! Welcome to this short video here to address a question that I had when I was setting up my Eachine Wizard X220 quadcopter. And my question was, will my Spectrum receiver, the AR610 receiver, work with the Eachine Wizard? The answer is no. Will not work. Um, and this, in case, just in case you don't know or are not familiar with it, this is basically like a small park flyer type fixed wing receiver. Um, I would call it like a simple receiver, I guess. So it's really not made, uh, I, I don't think it's made to really uh, interface with uh, quadcopter uh, flight controllers. So anyway, so because I already had, I already had the, the DX6i and this receiver that I've been using to fly the bat. And um, so I wanted to try and just use that. So I bought this as an ARF. So thinking that I had a receiver and a transmitter that would work, turns out I didn't. Um, and so I'm glad I know that now, but it took me a long time to figure that out. I kept researching, trying to figure out like, will Spectrum receivers work with uh, this flight controller, which is an SP Racing or Seriously Pro Racing F3 flight controller board. More on that later. And, you know, just the Yashin Wizard in general, seeing if, if they were compatible. And people kept talking about, like, Spectrum satellite receivers. And I was like, what the heck is that? What is a satellite receiver? I'm just trying to figure out what a regular receiver is. And I don't know what that is. Um, so what I found out, as, as far as I can tell, is a basically a satellite receiver uh, operates on a different, like, radio language code than your standard... Uh, than your spectrum, than most of your spectrum technology is what I'm saying. Um, spectrum, uh, this like this receiver, for example, and mo a lot of their receivers use uh, DSM-2 or DSM-X. Um, I'm going to call it a language or code, okay? Radio code language, all right? Um, and it's not compatible, as far as I can tell, with the flight controller, which is basically the brain on this quad. Um, and you can find that out by going to the SP Racing F3 uh, PDF manual for the actual flight controller board. Now, um, if you're if you're if you hear me say that and you're like, "Whoa, dude, slow down!" I'm not about to go geek out about that. Uh, well, just it's okay. It, that doesn't really matter. But the point is basically, if you thought that your little uh, Park Flyer type receiver would work, um, the Spectrum Spectrum receiver. It's not going to work. The good news is that if you wanted to stay in the Spectrum family and get a Spectrum receiver that would work with the Eachian Wizard, I'm pretty sure Spectrum makes uh, receivers that specifically work with quads. And I will put the models that they have probably, uh, no, I'm not going to bother with the link in the description, but I will put them whoop, right there. And um, so you can check those out. Um, that's not what I did. Once I figured out that my Spectrum receiver w wasn't going to work with the Eachin Wizard, what I decided to do was, instead of buying a Spectrum receiver that was specifically made for quads, which I'm pretty sure would have worked, I decided to go ahead and buy the FlySky FSI6X uh, transmitter and receiver combo. Well, no, not, it's not a combo, but it came with the receiver which is the FSX6B. Yeah. Okay, all right. So I'm probably pretty sure that I've left some of your burning questions unanswered about this subject. I know, I wish I could answer them all. I wish I knew them all, but I don't. So listen, if you still are wondering about something and you're still confused, put it in the comments below and maybe myself or someone who is more knowledgeable than I am will answer it. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if it was helpful, you, helpful to you, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Um, and next time, we're going to talk about something else. Adam out.